Gladstone and Escanaba are awesome for kiteboarding. There's a south wind, probably five or six out of seven days of the week. A lot of the guys that are super into it from our TED, they drive down to Gladstone and Esky because it's just so consistent and good. So most people kiteboard in the summer on the water, but uh, you're youpers and you live in Michigan, you kite on the ice, just throw a snowboard on. On a day like today, a lot of times you can't tell that it's windy from shore, but as soon as you get a few hundred yards offshore and you're out in the middle of the lake, the wind is just absolutely whipping. In the winter it's about wind, ice, and snow conditions. The ice up here in the northern part of the bay is always good once you get to the end of the December all the way through mid-March. It's always safe ice. And then it's just about how much snow is on the ice. If you get a lot of warm days or you get really, really strong, like 30, 40 mile an hour wind, it can blow all the snow off the ice and then you just have a glare sheet and then we can't go. So we at least need a couple inches of snow on there. We're always looking for wind. We're totally addicted to the sport. And once you get hooked on snow cutting in the winter, you're looking at flags, you're looking at trees. You're looking for signs of wind all the time, and uh, we're always checking the forecasts too, windfinder.com, we're on there all the time, looking seven, 10 days out, and planning our lives around when it's gonna be windy. Love kiteboarding because it's a sport that gets you out and makes you active, but it's also a sport that requires your full mental attention while you're doing it, so you get lost in it, and that's one of the beauties of the sport. You can spend two hours out there and all you're thinking about is being in the moment and what you need to do at that point in time. And it pretty much takes any stress or anything that you have going on in your life off your plate and you're only focused and worried about what you're doing. And you get an awesome exercise at the same time, you're out in nature only using the power of the wind and you're just relieving your mind of all those worries and stress that most people are dealing with. It's one of those sports that will change your outlook on life. You know, just get hooked, do it, and uh, it's gonna make you stoked to get out there and enjoy nature.